Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Olgeen, and I am the Senior Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Chip Ganassi Racing. And we have some real exciting news today uh, about our Extreme E program. But I'd also like to welcome all of those uh, writers and uh, journalists that follow Extreme E, that follow racing, and also even those that don't, that, are, that will be seeing this video as well. So with that, I'd like to introduce our participants today. Uh, first, we have Mike Hull, who is the Managing Director of Chip Ganassi Racing's Indianapolis uh, organization, which also oversees the Extreme E program. We have Edward Sylvan, who is the CEO of Sycamore Entertainment and Seggy TV. We also have straight out of the UK, Ali Russell, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of Extreme E. And last but certainly not least, we have uh, Sarah Price, who um, is joining us probably after a long trip back from Spain. So hopefully she's not too jet lagged. But um, one big thing about Sarah, who's the first driver um, that is a female at Chip Ganassi Racing in our 30 year plus history. So welcome Sarah and welcome all of you. Um, so without further ado, I just wanna turn it over to Mike Hull. Mike, um, some big news here. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, Chip Ganassi is pleased to welcome it, uh, Edward Sylvan uh, from Sycamore Entertainment and Saggy TV to our team. And uh, equally important to the world of extreme e-auto racing is the prim our primary partner uh, for our global entry into the 2021 Extreme East Series. Uh, very exciting news, certainly. It's terrific to partner with Sycamore, whose innovation mirrors our team ethic of fairness, who understands that positive change drives value, and most importantly, that inclusion is the common responsibility uh, to educate the planet about the acceptance of how climate change will affect uh, the generations who follow us. Thanks, Mike. Um, so Ed, let me uh, kick it off with a question for you. How does it feel to be part of the Chip Ganassi Racing family? There's some big brands in that family from PNC Bank to NTT Data, Monster Energy, McDonald's, Pfizer, and on and on. How does it feel to be uh, part of all that? I have to say uh, I'm honored and thrilled and over the moon to be able to have my company and our group, Sycamore Entertainment and SEGI TV, partnered and aligned with such big global brands and international companies at this level, at the same time, be paired and partnered with them in order to achieve the common goal of spreading this super important message about climate change, equality, fairness, and, equal, uh, and, and all the things that encompass um, what Chip Ganassi and Extreme E stand for. So I, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled and honored and looking forward to what's coming, coming next. So if we could, if I could follow up on that a little bit, how about you talk to us a little bit about what Seggy TV is and how those, those um, core values that you just spoke of um, makes a great partnership with Chip Ganassi Racing and Extreme E. Well, the thing about it is, is when we, became known of this opportunity and became aware of this opportunity, we were, we were so thrilled to, to know that how Chip Ganassi and Extreme e stood for these things because we've been, we've been standing for these things and talking about these things for many, many years. And the fact that we had an opportunity to align ourselves with these brands and align ourselves with these ideologies at a time like this is so timely and so important so we saw it as a great opportunity to come and jump, jump on board and be a part of it. So uh, once again, thank you so much for the opportunity. Great, um, Ali. So as you created and with Alejandra, this vision of Extreme E and all of these um, core values that you were bringing into it, how does it feel to bring in a partner like that, that that shares a lot of those same core values that you guys begin to build everything at, at Extreme or well, not begin, you guys are already well into that. Well, absolutely, John, and, and, and thank you very much for the question, and, and thanks for the invite today. And Edward, I'd like to, to say welcome to the family. Um, we are trying to build a, a family here with Extreme E, and, and you're very much part of that overall family. And, you know, we started with incredibly, um, incredibly big vision uh, of using sport for purpose, 
and, and taking sports where, where sports never been taken before. So we're going to the most extreme environments in the world. You know, if you look at the Middle East, you look at the Arctic, Amazon, Patagonia, um, you know, and the coast of Africa, you, you couldn't have a first season of a racing series that, that has um, such a variety of environments. And you're absolutely right. The, the, the North Star for us is telling this story of climate change and what climate change, what, what, is, what is happening at the forefront of climate change, but also how can we be part of finding solutions? And, and we, we find a lot of solutions locally through our legacy program, but also how can the racing industry, how can OEMs be part of finding a solution? And, and of course, what we need is we need incredible storytelling. And we, we really look forward to seeing how Sycamore and, and Chip Ganassi Racing come together to tell a story with the help of participants like, like Sarah, to, to tell a story of, um, you know, against all odds, the, the, the jeopardy, the, the challenges that we go through and the challenges that the team goes through in, in, in the first year of, of the series. So super, super excited. And, and as I say, welcome to the family. Thank you. Great, thanks, thanks, Ali. So Sarah. All right, you are now with Kyle, um, two of the faces of this new sport, but it's a sport that also is really big on equality and sustainability and bringing awareness to climate change. And you're partnering here with a, with a company that does that as well. How does it feel to be part of all of that? Oh man, I'm, I'm honored to say the least, you know, not only to be a part of Extreme E in the beginning phases and the fact that they have a male and a female driver, like that's unheard of. They've never done that in a series ever to this day in the motorsports. And Ed, to have your company a part of this journey and making history is incredible itself. And the fact that you guys stand for the same, the same, you know, rules of thumb that we're going for this year. Like we want to stand up for those rights and we want to stand up and make an impact on a positive influence in the world in motorsports. Thanks, Sarah. So, Ed, you know, I've only known you for a short amount of time, but I could tell yeah. you this, for those that don't, you have one of the most contagious and um, exciting personalities that I've ever been around. So talk to us a little bit. You were, you were um, explaining a story about when you were young and you put pictures of cars and race car drivers up on your wall and how that Absolutely. led you through to um, the finance world or financial world and then into entertainment. Yes, John, like, as I was saying, when we were talking a few weeks ago, you know, when, from when I was a little kid, I just had a fascination with fast cars and, 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 and sports cars and, and racing. And so, you know, that sort of drove me my whole life. I would have pictures on my wall. And in fact, you were, you were, you were having a conversation on the, on the group meeting and, and that just led me to follow Formula One IndyCar, NASCAR, all the different racing series. And that, as I got older and I became an adult, I, I, I tried to figure out ways that I could, you know, a, afford these things, <laughs> first of all. And, and, and that's what led me to the financial world because the world of, of, of finance and the world of big business. And I saw that these sponsors were all part, a lot of them were publicly traded companies that were looking to d work with these different brands and all that came together with my love for cars and racing. So as I grew my business and I grew my interest in the sport and finance, it led me into um, starting a company such as Sycamore, taking it public, so we're a publicly traded company, and then segue, segueing that into my love for racing where I started kart racing myself. And, and uh, you know, took my talents to the track for a couple of years and, and did as best as I can. And so when the, again, when this opportunity to combine my love for sports with helping out the environment and, and all things equality, all things sustainability, you know, I jumped on it and combined those two loves of finance and motorsports. And here we are today with, with fabulous people like, like Ali and Sarah and, and, and uh, it, it's just an amazing uh, opportunity. So I, I have to ask, how were you on the track? You know what? I, I had about five or six podiums, you know, I, I did okay. I went from not even knowing how to hit an apex to going to the podium. So I think I did okay. Um, you know, I've, I've, I, I've hung up my racing gloves, so, but you know, never wait, know. Wait, you can't go to the track now? You hung them up? I, I hung them up, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, only, on, I'm only a spectator now and a, bit, and a super fan of, of yours and Kyle's and, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some racing on the track as soon as possible. 
We're going to unhang those gloves. <laughs> you got to teach me how to hit those apexes once again. <laughs> All right. So uh, thanks uh, for that info, uh, Ed. I think it's really revealing about you. Uh, Mike, um, so you've had a couple of tests already. One just finished in Spain. You had one uh, a few weeks ago, I guess, in, in Nevada as well with the car. Just tell us how it's going. How, what, what are you guys seeing in the car and what are you feeling for the future of extreme racing? Well, I don't want to go off script here, John, but I was going to say something about what Ed said. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the uh, Ed, uh, when I was told this because I certainly don't, you know, in your infancy, you don't remember things. Uh, you're only told later what you said. And, uh, you know, when you have kids, if you're lucky enough to have kids and uh, uh, you grow up with your kids, you, you do all of that. Uh, and so your mom and dad, they're waiting for your first word. What is your first word going to be? And they want it to be either mom or dad. Well, my first word was car. Car. And it's still wow. my first, it's still my first Amazing. word today. Amazing. I disappointed my parents because of that, but uh, they got over it when they figured out that car really meant a lot to myself. And certainly uh, uh, with the upbringing that I had where I grew up, uh, it meant a lot to them. And uh, I thought about that when you were saying what you were saying a few minutes ago. I think it's really cool. And the conversation that we had yesterday centered around not necessarily cars, but it's centered, it centered around how we can make the planet better, how, how we better. can, you know, with our lives and what we do. And, and that's frankly what we have in common. Your partnership with us is really what that's all about. Absolutely. And, and I think if I can just add to that, when, when, whenever you have the ability to combine your passions with your occupation, magic happens all the time. And I see it happening here. And, uh, and um, the, the, the founders and the creators of Extreme E just put together something fantastic where they're combining their passion for the planet and saving the environment with racing and coming up with such an initiative that includes everybody is just uh, such innovation and such forward thinking. And for companies like Chip Ganassi Racing and all the other participants in the series to see that and be first responders in terms of getting on board says a lot about this group and, and, um, and I'm just excited to get going. Yeah, I want to thank you for uh, not only being with us, but for the conversation we had yesterday because it made an imp a large impact on me. I appreciated it very much. You're very welcome. Uh, the, in terms of the on-track part of what we do, and that's what we love to do also, uh, we did have, as, as, as we've talked about already, uh, 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 we tested in Northern Nevada uh, yes. Uh, recently, and that was a really good test. It introduced us to what uh, what we were in for, uh, and what we've been preparing for. We started preparing for Extreme E in uh, in 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 the heart of COVID. The conversations yes. that I had with Ali really drove Chip and I to make a decision to be in the series. Uh, we thought we wanted to try to help him make a difference with what uh, he and Alejandro are doing with the series. It means a lot. Right. Uh, we, we went to Spain, not knowing quite what we were in for, uh, you know, we're a bunch of people from the United States, uh, you know, we, we don't have a big rally background. Uh, we relied on people that, uh, have all terrain background to help us. Right. Uh, but it's an electric vehicle. And so we needed to understand how to get the front rear axles to drive themselves faster than right. the else's. The, uh, uh, Sarah and Kyle found the top of the timesheet. You know, we like to do that. Amazing. <laughs> Chip and Ashley <Ashton laughs> racing. Uh, but I would just say one, say one more thing. I was talking to Dave Bar Birkenfeld this morning who manages the steam for us. And uh, we were talking about the test a little bit because I told him we were going to be on this call. And he said, you know, here, here's, a, here's a small anecdote for you. I don't know if you want to use it or not. He said, as they were running on the racetrack, and our car was on the racetrack and people were watching the timesheet. They said, Kyle is, look how fast Kyle is going. And he turned around and said to him, Kyle's sitting over on that folding chair. That's Sarah on the racetrack. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I think it's, it's really terrific that on Great a job, global, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> and on, a, on, a global, on, a on a global stage against the best all terrain drivers and teams for that matter. Our team is, is well represented, certainly well represented now uh, with SEGI TV. Uh, but the two of them really share the values we have. 
and they worked together as a team of people. And John referenced that at the very beginning. We've never really had the opportunity to have a, uh, a female driver uh, that's equal. And in this case, she is equal to our male driver. driver right. Uh, and we're really proud of that. Right. And uh, we're looking forward to the first full field event in Saudi. Um, that's the next opportunity we have to do this. And, uh, so I think it's going to be exciting for us. Thanks, thanks Mike. Um, Allie, so as you get and prepare for the season, tell us how it's going. Uh, you know, you're only a few months away. Um, and I know there's uh, a lot going on behind the scenes, but how's everything coming along? Yeah, I, I, I think um, what I would say is it, it's nothing is ever to plan with, with startups. I think COVID has definitely thrown us some, some challenges, and there's no doubt there. And I think Mike's been very, very um, kind to us in terms of we, we, we've tried to get testing in, in a couple of different locations because of, because of the surge in COVID. We weren't able to do that. So what we're doing is we're doing the best that we can at this moment in time. And what we've got is we're going to, you know, the teams are all pioneers. And I think that's the first thing to say is the mentality of the teams helps us as a series put this together because we're racing in locations that, that, that you know, there hasn't even been sporting events in Greenland, let alone um, a, a car race. Um, so, you know, we're going where, where, where there, there was nothing in existence before, which always is a challenge. But I think, you know, the, the, the plans have been well made. The series starts in March. Um, you know, we, we are starting in the Middle East. Then we're, we're on to, to Dakar on the coast of Senegal, then up to Greenland in Candelusiak down to the Amazon and then finish off um, at the end of the world in, in Patagonia. So the locations are, are, I keep on saying this, epic. And, you know, we are in, you know, really, really a good stage of development. Um, as we said, you know, the teams have all trialed the cars. There's been no issues with the technology. And that's always, I suppose, the, the concern that you have when you're dealing with new technology is, is there going to be some, some, some issues? That there's been very minor issues, but nothing major. And, and as we said, I think, you know, when I see drivers of, 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 of the caliber of Sarah and Kyle getting out of the car and saying, wow, wow, that's what gives me the real confidence in the series is that, you know, these cars are beasts and these cars are going to change people's perceptions of electric vehicles. They're going to make them absolute stars. And, um, you know, I just can't wait for the start of the series because when it starts, people, are, people are, aren't going to question electric vehicles. You know, th these are all-terrain, super, super um, fast, agile um, performance cars that the, the drivers are going to take to the, to the edge of their seats. And, and I'm looking forward to Edward driving the car. I can, I can see he's probably, you know, looking to come to Greenland or the Amazon and, and, and to have a go. And, and I think that's, that's going to be the fun of this is how do we – how do we take a very serious issue like climate change? How do we repackage that and communicate it to far more people, um, but also help an industry to translate and change? It's it's you know it's it's a it's a huge task, but one that we're all up for. And right. uh, Chip Ganassi Racing, uh, of course, are are leading the charge. Excellent. Ali, there's there's one thing I wanted to follow up on that with that I I found really interesting is that you have a slogan that you're using that is we will race without a trace can yes. you talk a little bit about that the legacy program uh, it, just quickly explain a little bit about what that is about you know um this whole idea of racing without a trace yeah i think i think the the, the first first point is we're we're measuring everything we do and the reason we're measuring is because the first way to become more sustainable is to use less so where possible we're not we're not flying, we're using a ship as the, the mo mobile paddock. So we're doing everything we can to reduce, reduce, reduce our, our carbon footprint. And you know, when we talk about race without trace, we're racing using um, you know, basically the sun. We're, we're, we're racing with energy that we take from the sun into solar. Solar makes you know, green hydrogen. The green hydrogen then translates into um, uh, electricity in the battery, and the battery charges the cars. The cars then get washed after you know they've been taken out um, uh, with the water, which is the only byproduct of the of the hydrogen fuel cell. 
and what you've got is this this, this circular um, technology yes. that we're using in the most remote locations on the planet. So the plan for the series is to do everything we can to reduce and to use new technologies which are, are very, very green. The footprint that we do have, we, we, we are investing in legacy programs in each of the, the countries that we're going to. So for instance, we've announced in Senegal that we're planting over a million mangroves. Um, we're, we're regenerating um, Amazon rainforests in, in Brazil. Um, we're doing a lot of work with um, education and UNICEF in Greenland, where we're, we're helping to, um, I suppose, demystify sustainability and demystify climate change to make it very understandable to the, to the you know, next generation. But most importantly, how do we empower them to have a voice and, and to, to move forward? So each of the locations has a specific challenge, desertification, deforestation, melting glaciers. And then what we try to do is to, to make a real difference on the ground in each location we go to, which actually leaves a betterment, a positive legacy, something that we call climate positive. So, you know, the, the, the challenge we've always got is, you know, we're going to these locations, you know, how, how do we put the racetrack back to better than we found it? And how do we make a difference to people's lives in these locations? Thanks, Ali. Pretty amazing. Um, so, Sarah, let's get back to the racetrack. So you've now been behind the wheel a couple of times um, in a couple of different areas. Tell us uh, about the experience. How, is it, how does it feel to be behind the wheel of these uh, new cars and how comfortable are you? Well, at first, you know, I've never driven an electric race car before. So it was something completely new, just diving in and trying to kind of get acclimated as fast as I could, you know, because we got to take in consideration, you got to charge the battery and to have full power, you got to make sure you're, you're charged all the way to the top for those few laps. Um, we had to work really closely as a team. The, the difference in these cars from what we're used to, you know, working on or setting up is uh, something different because we're using a front and a rear engine or motor, sorry, not engine because we're not running oils in it. But it it was something we had to work on our timing and as a team we had to learn and so it's a whole new platform that we're all kind of so new to um but we worked together so great that we went out there and with all the things thrown at us we were the fastest ones and at the end of the day that means that we were the fastest ones to figure it out work together set up the car correctly and go out there and do our part and living our passion and that's racing and going fast and setting a, a fast lap you know like I want to go out there and I want to go fast and I don't have the time of my life because it's what I love. And I, I also hear you're pretty hands-on too uh, helping in any way you can around the car. Yeah you know when I got into racing myself I didn't have the luxury of having a, a mechanic full-time so I had to teach myself how to work on the car I had to prep it for my races and ever since you know my dad taught me if you know what's going on with your, your vehicle and your mechanics, then you can give better input. So if I went suspension testing, take apart that shock, tell me why you're gonna say the things you're gonna say. And I still apply that to this day. Anything I get involved in, I wanna know how it works as much as I possibly can. And I ask questions. I'm not someone who says I know it all by any means, but I can promise you I might annoy you by asking a bunch of questions. <laughs> Great. So, Ed, um, I, I guess I wanted to kind of finish with, uh, tell us about Segi TV and how you how people can get it, where it is right now. I know it's just launching. So tell us a little bit about the logistics of it. Thanks, John. Um, before I do that, I just want to add on to something that Ali said about the great challenges of, 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 of bringing awareness to these issues of, of sustainability and climate change. And, and in, from, from a racing perspective, We've, we've had the similar challenges in our business, in the storytelling business, because, you know, most stories you read, you, you watch on television or you read about, there's always a, 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 good, a, a, good, a good and a bad, bad guy chasing good guy and a, a good versus evil. But in, the, but in the world of climate, in the world of climate change, um, how do you tell a story when everybody's the bad guy and the only good guy is the planet? So that's a challenge that's always being, being um, front and center in the entertainment business. How do you tell a story when we're the bad guys, the human beings watching the screen are the bad guys. So, that, so, so to have the ability to follow this group around and capture some of that footage, not only of the team and how they work together in the racing and, and the participation, but how they're impacting the community 
um, and how they're making uh, change in that environment is, is a story we're looking forward to telling and, and making it available on Psyche TV. And, and to answer the question how people can get it, at present, we're currently available on Roku, um, which is available right now in 50 million, over 50 million homes in, in, in the United States, Canada, and around the world. And then we're going to be making it available in very short New Year, just on the other side of the New Year, on Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, Samsung Smart TV, and, and, and on. So people can just go in and, and download our channel and um, go to our website, segi.tv, download the channel, and you can start watching films. And, and as we create more exclusive content and more unique shows, you know, we'll be uploading those. So people have to stay engaged and stay tuned. So uh, again, before we, we completely end this, are there any final thoughts from any of you, um, Ed or anybody that you wanna, wanna say? One of the things I just wanted to say real quickly before, um, before this is over is that Sarah and Ali and, and Mike and John, I, I just want to make sure that you guys get some, 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 some of the <laughs> added merch. Um, here. I, I noticed nobody had the merch on. So, so when, when I see everybody, I'm going to make sure that you guys get the hats to go along with the shirts and everything else. And, uh, and so that we can all truly be a team together. So, uh, so look, look in, uh, I'll, I'll grab everybody's details and get some, some merch out to everybody so, so we can get this going and, and, um, and uh, move from there. Perfect. Ali, were you going to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, th this is what we dream about is, you know, the, 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 the creation here is very non-standard. You know, every, every aspect of this call is, 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 is non-standard. And that's where the racing industry is evolving. And what you've got is you've got the heritage of, of Chip Ganassi racing here. Which is, which is incre incredible heritage, but you've got the future here. And the future is about storytelling. The future is about diversity. The future is about equality, climate change, and, and, and so on. So I think you know, that, that's what makes me really, really proud is when I sit here and I participate on a call like this um, with, with where I think the industry is going. And the nice thing is this is a, you know industry for purpose. So that in a year's time, we're all gonna be reflecting back on, on this and the positive change that we've made collectively here, race team, driver, championship, um, content de developer. It, it's, it's just, a, it's, a, it's a nice family. So um, really excited. Thank, thanks, Allie. Um, anybody else have anything they wanted to add? Oh, welcome uh, to the team, Ed. We can't wait to have Segi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an exciting journey. And, and the beauty of this is we're all taking the journey together for the first time. So I think that in and of itself is, is an exciting thing. And, and we're all going to be learning from each other and experiencing everything at the same time. So if I don't see you between now and, uh, and the race, I'll certainly see you in Saudi Arabia, everybody. Yay. Exciting. Can't wait. Hey, I just wanted to thank all of you for participating. I know it's a little bit uh, unconventional uh, way to do this, but heck, I think throughout the year, it's become a little more conventional. And um, I'd like to just wish everybody a happy holidays. And yes. for those media people that are following is, feel free to reach out to Kelby Krause or Julia Fry, Kelby Krause from Chip Ganassi Racing and Julia Fry from Extreme E to be able to talk to any of the participants today. So thank you very much.